In this video, we'll be talking about rounding. Rounding can involve decimal places or significant figures, but here we will look at decimal places and I'll make a separate video on significant figures. So I think the best thing is just to look at an example straight away. So take the number 3.14159, and some of you may recognise that as pi, and we want to round it to one, two, and three decimal places. So first of all, let's write it out. We need to round that to one decimal place. Now, the best way I find to do that is we start at our decimal point and we go along one decimal place because that's what we need to do this time. So one decimal place takes us to the one. Now after that one, what I would normally do is I draw a solid line. Now we need to go one number across from the solid line, so the four here. And from the basic rules of rounding, if that number is five or above, so five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then the number before, so the one in this case, would go up to two. However, four is not any higher than five. So that means the one stays the same. So our number is 3.1 to one decimal place. Okay, let's see how that changes if it's two decimal places. So again, 3.14159 start at our decimal point we go one two decimal places and we can draw our line in there just like before now again we look at the one the one is less than five so this number stays the same again so we get 3.14 okay finally three decimal places start at the decimal point one two three draw our line in. Now this time the 5 indicates that the number 1 will go up by a number. So that 1 will become a 2 leaving us with 3.142. So this is the only example where we actually had to move up the number but if the number is less than 5 as you can see the number just stays the same and it cuts off. Okay thank you for watching and I hope that helped.